Hey, what's going on everybody? Adrian Diaz here with Hasta La Vista Boss. We are here with our video number six on the uh, series on how to live stream on YouTube. Uh, and of course, because this is a series, uh, there's many more videos in the description. Uh, you're gonna f you'll find a full playlist uh, just in case you find this video randomly on YouTube. And today is going to be about how to connect Zoom to OBS. Now we've connected YouTube to our OBS uh, software and now we need to connect Zoom to OBS. But I've seen people asking this question uh, around the web and connecting Zoom to OBS is not like uh, we did uh, with, with uh, YouTube and OBS. There's no code, that there's no stream key that we can do. Uh, we can connect them. Uh, at least not to my logic, not to my knowledge. And um, by the way, I'm, I keep looking at this here. If you remember the first video, I was mentioning um, having uh, lights, <laughs> and I have only one at the moment because my daughter uh, broke one of the bulbs. And I, I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure if I can buy now on Amazon. I don't know if they're gonna send it. But this is what happens when you don't have. Where is it? It's here. Where when where you don't have uh, enough light, you see this. Uh, this is the the fabric, the green fabric. Um, so you're gonna have these uh, marks at the back. But <clears throat> this is good because you can see real problems that you know YouTubers like uh, like myself have. <laughs> <coughs> but I'm gonna have to look on Amazon to see if I can buy more light and. Uh, point the lights to this uh, screen, to this um, green fabric and have a better quality. All right. So if we cannot add a code or stream key from Zoom to OBS, how we connect it then? How do we send Zoom to YouTube? Well, the, f the way I find, the way I do it, the way I find to do it is, let's say we're going to go live. And we are going to uh, use Zoom. So I'm just going to open Zoom now. One second. All right. So this is Zoom, right? This is going to be your uh, your full screen. You're going to be on full screen. Um, you're going to have your, you know, your guests with you if you do interviews and stuff like that. Or you're gonna, just going to have your friends, you know, hanging out and chatting and all that. So the way I've, I, I'm using OB, uh, OBS in Zoom now is I'm capturing this, what's going on on this screen, whatever's going on on this screen, even when I'm sharing the screen, for example, and I do this and then I start to, you know, uh, show you how I do my snippets or whatever, which by the way is going to be one of the next videos. Um, everything that's going on here, everything that I'm doing on this screen is going to be uh, captured by OBS and sent to YouTube on, you know, on, uh, on the live stream. So this is how I do it. We're going to just, let me switch this thing off and I bring OBS on the screen. So this is our scenes, right? So you, you're going to create a few scenes for yourself. Or if you have one scene at the beginning, it's even better because you don't, uh, you know, you, you're not going to have the headaches of remembering to do tra the transitions like this, for example, this is how you started. Uh, this is how I started the video. And then when I click, uh, transition, you know, it changes the, uh, the, uh, scene, change the screen, makes it a little bit more entertaining, you know, and not as boring as usual, <laughs> but, um, um, the way we do it, we need to add, you come here to your scenes. So you, you, you're you going to have a new scene. You're going to call it um, Zoom Live, uh, Zoom Live, maybe plus screen capture or something like that, right? Just so you know which one is it in case you have more. Like I have here, you see my cam, chat, outro, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so once you create your scene, you come here to... to um, sources and you're going to look for display capture. Now I have my display here, but just for the purpose of doing this, you're going to call it something that again, you remember, 
um, you know, you can call it. I have my second monitor is Samsung, so I'm just gonna call it Samsung if you want. And here you're gonna choose which display you're gonna record or you're gonna capture. In my case, it's number two, and this is it. So whatever whatever is happening on this screen here, right? OBS is not gonna be on this screen. OBS is gonna be off the screen. So whatever happens on this screen here, whether you share, whether you, uh, you know, whatever whatever you do, is going to be captured by Zoom in here. Sorry, by OBS in here, and it's gonna be sent on uh, YouTube when you have your uh, stream here. You see, start streaming. Of course, on top of this, you can have a little bit more cool stuff. Like I have this. Uh, so this is how it looks now. You know, you can see my everything in here. Uh, it's still it's still uh, engaging. It's still better than uh, just being my face on on the screen and talk talk to to the camera. But this is even you know a little bit more uh, nicely and more professionally done <laughs> with this here on the bottom, the text, blah blah blah. So that's how you do it, right? That's how we connect Zoom to, to OBS. Uh, we're going to capture what's going on on the screen. We're going to send it to OBS, and OBS is going to send it to uh, YouTube. Again, <clears throat> start with this slow, you know, just create one, one scene. Add your, uh, you know, add your, um, add your uh, source, which will be, you know, uh, uh, how do you call it? Display capture. And remember that if you if you use like I'm using right now, I'm using uh, OBS to record videos uh, for this um, tutorial. Well, I have my webcam into OBS. You see here, video capture device. What else? Video capture device. So when I'm using Zoom, when you're gonna use Zoom as well. You see, you can't see my uh, camera in here. You can see my picture. And that's because Zoom and OBS, they cannot use the same camera at the same time. So what you have to do uh, before you start, uh, before you create your, your, you know, your screen capture and, and, uh, and, and this scene here, first you need to come and remove uh, the video capture device from, from all your scenes. You know, from here. Where else do I have it? Uh, in here, you have to remove it. And then when you create a new video, like I'm doing now, an offline video, then you can just go ahead and let's say you've removed it from the chat, you come here and you just add it again, right? And you know, if I have an existing one, there you go, I'm here again, right? Uh, <clears throat> but let me know if you have questions in, uh, let me know if you have questions. Uh, I'm sure you might have some questions. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> trust me, it could be a little bit confusing at the beginning, but um, you know, it's it's not it's not that complicated, honestly. Uh, once you do it once or twice, it's going to be awesome. And now we're very close to the end of the of the uh, series, and we're gonna do a live stream together very soon. Again, let me know if you have questions. Give me a thumbs up. You know, share it with your friends if you get any value out of this. And um, see you in the next video, boss. Thanks for watching.